Hi friends! Welcome back to Road Just Traveled, where budget travel doesn't have to suck. If you'd like some more tips on how to travel more for less, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. I post new videos every Sunday. Today we are talking about everything you need to know in order to rent an RV. In this video, I'm going to be going over some basic things you need to know, some apps and websites that can really help you, as well as the different types of RVs. You're really going to want to watch this all the way through to the end because you're going to want to know exactly what kind of RV you want before you book. All right, let's get to it. So driving an RV obviously is very different from a car. RVs are gigantic. You're gonna have to take wider turns. You're gonna have to take longer to stop. And it's just a big clunky thing to drive. If you don't know how to drive an RV, it can be very dangerous. So if you have time before your trip, maybe do a little trial run. First, you can take your RV to a big parking lot that's empty. You can try out making these big wide turns. Make sure you understand how the brakes work. Maybe take a weekend trip to a place where just there's big, long, straight roads instead of having to make all these turns and going up canyons and stuff like that that's much more difficult. If you end up getting a flat tire or something happens, roadside assistance can be very helpful. I use AAA, which has been a savior to me countless times. Besides AAA, some insurance companies have roadside assistance programs that you can opt in, so shop around Maybe talk to your insurance provider, see what's available to you. Whether you go with Good Sam, AAA, or Allstate, or any others, make sure you read your policy thoroughly to understand what exactly is covered. Speaking of coverage, it's also a really great time to get travel insurance for your trip. If you want more information about travel insurance, I have a video breaking it all down right here. Find out what's included in the RV. Sometimes they include bedding, kitchen items, cleaning supplies, and sometimes they don't. Be sure to understand what's included and what isn't so you aren't left scrambling at the last minute. Because trust me, you definitely don't want to be sleeping on some old used mattress without something on top of it. If you have six people coming on the trip with you and you find an RV that is suitable for six people, they say, make sure you understand exactly what all the bedding situations are for all those six people. For example, some beds might be convertible from a sofa, some beds might be just a twin size bed, not big enough for everyone, so be sure to understand exactly what size every mattress is going to be so you can ensure all your guests are going to be comfy. Are pets allowed? Yes and no. Some RV companies allow pets, some allow certain pets, and some don't allow any pets. So when you're renting, if you're bringing a pet, be sure to understand exactly what the policies are. Allstays is a great place to find campgrounds, places to stop overnight, and other really useful tips for RV travelers. Gas Buddy helps you find gas stations near you, and it also compares the price of all the gas stations so you can get the best deal. Recreation.gov has great information for visiting national parks, forests, and other federal recreation sites. Campendium is an extensive database of campsites that allows users to leave reviews, so you can really get a lot of details, as well as the dirt, on campsites. US Campgrounds is a website that allows you to get information on, you guessed it, campgrounds in the US. All right, so you've got some tips, you know some apps and websites that you can get. Now here are the different types of RVs. Class A motorhomes are those giant souped up ones that you see. These are typically big enough to have rooms, like a kitchen and a bedroom and a dining area. Some of these also slide out once you park them to make the inside even more spacious. This is obviously great for big families. Class B motorhomes look more like large vans. These will have a small bedding area, a kitchenette, and sometimes even a toilet. Class C motorhomes look like if a truck and an RV had a baby. There is usually a compartment above the roof of the truck part that is used for a bed. Lastly, travel trailers can be hooked up to a car and towed to wherever you are camping. These can range from those small teardrop trailers to 30 to 40 foot big boys. If you're looking for some tips on how to road trip safely during COVID-19, then I really recommend that you check out this video right here. I also have this video, which will give you some tips on how to travel safely during these really strange times. So watching all those videos will really prepare you for traveling during the pandemic. Thank you so much for watching. If this was helpful to you, feel free to give it a thumbs up. 
I post new videos every Sunday, so I will see you next week. Thanks for watching and happy travels.